Hey YouTubers, I'm back with some more mods to my Shapoko 2 uh, CNC router. This one comes under the category of belt tensioning. There are belts for the uh, X and Y axis, and uh, for those of you familiar with it, they are held tight with a clip where the belt is wrapped around it, and then it is screwed with a locking nut to the, um, to the uh, maker rod. And they work fine, work real good. Um, the only thing I found is that it was difficult to get them tight because what you had to do is get it in the right place and then screw the thing down, get it slightly, and pull on it. And it just, it, it, it seemed to take a lot of work, more work than I wanted to do. I like these kinds of things, especially when they're critical adjustments, to be easy. So I came up with a different way to do this. What I did was I came up with a handle, and the way this handle works is that it fits on top of the clip. So you'll see that there's a section in the, um, in the handle that um, is cut out for the belt to ride up on top of the clip. So again, we're still using the same clip, however the handle is on top of it and screwed through it. And then the nice thing, uh, since I'm holding the camera, I can't do this all with, uh, with holding the camera, so I'll just have to tell you. So I put my Allen key in here, it doesn't have to be an Allen key, but I like those. And what I do is loosen this, get everything positioned, and then I just grab onto the handle to pull it tight. And it makes it a little easier, and then once I've gotten the tightness that I want, I just tighten it down. And as you can see, works good. Um, you know, I can get the tightness just where I want it, just a little easier to do, and I'm not muscling everything to, um, to get it where I want, you know? Simple enough to do. Um, for the Y-axis, um, I kind of went a little overboard here. I uh, decided to get a little bit more creative. Um, although the handle thing works, I didn't want to do the handle up front because then it would be sticking out. I don't want too much sticking out. And of course, being lazy, if it's in the back, I got to move everything. So I didn't want to do that. So I came up with a slightly different uh, approach. It's a little bit more mechanical. Um, but essentially what I did was I, I designed this three-piece um, adjustable clamp, if you will. And essentially what it is, is you've got the body here, and then you've got this block, and then underneath, kind of hard to see, I'll see if I can make it easy enough for you to see. Then there's this, uh, this clamp. So essentially what happens is, you feed the uh, belt through the back of the, um, of the uh, end mount here, okay? And then it comes through this, and then essentially it's clamped onto this belt, and then this screw here, as you tighten it, will draw it up, okay? And basically all you do is tighten that screw to get it to the point to where the belt is to the, to the tension that you want. And again here, you can see how, um, how tight it is. Um, this is very tight tolerances because I wanted everything. I, didn't, I was afraid that it would twist and turn and, and bind. So everything's fairly tight. I did have to sand it a little bit because it is ABS. Everything shrinks a lot. And I haven't gotten the shrinkage percentage down correct, so... Uh, but in any case, it works really good, and I have one for both end rails. So now all I need to do is occasionally come in, you know, when I need to make an adjustment, just turn this rod and make it, and make it adjust up and down. Works out great. As a matter of fact, this thing grabs on so well that um, if you're not careful, I think it will actually break this, uh, break this rod, if it, uh, break the belt, if you pull on it enough. Um, if you, um, you know, you can see here the way it comes in, it's actually sloped. It's a little hard to see now that it's mounted, but we'll see what we can do to make it a little easier to, to, to check out the functioning parts. But um, I will take these designs and I will put them on uh, GrabCAD and Thingiverse so you guys can download them um, and use them if you like them. Uh, hope you like the idea. Hope you like the video. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if anybody has ideas for other things they'd like to see, throw them out to me. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try making them. Thanks.